Hi class, one of the final steps of your research essay is hyperlinking your uh, web resources. You do not need to hyperlink anything that's a subscription database, just your websites and videos that were found online that did not come from a subscription database. So you can see here my top source is from EBSCO. That's a subscription database. I do not need to cite it. This next one is a print source, so I do not need to cite that either. This one here, however, is a source that I found online, so I need to go ahead and hyperlink it. If I continue to go through my sources, this one's a subscri subscription database, so there's no need to hyperlink. Uh, this one is also a subscription database, no need to hyperlink. But then you'll see that I've got two sources in a row that are already hyperlinked. You can tell that they're hyperlinked because they are blue and they are underlined and when I hover over them it tells me how to get to the link and if I were to click on them I can go ahead and open them up right away so if I were to go ahead and open it then it opens up the link so my goal is to now take this source right here and to hyperlink it here so what I want to do is I want to highlight the name of the article. So you'll see here with the John Green videos, the name of the video is what's highlighted. All right. So that's what I want to do here. This one doesn't have an author, so it just happens to be the first thing I'm going to hyperlink is this first part. Well, what I need to do to hyperlink is I need to go back to the original article, or in this case, website, which is right here. And I simply need to copy the HTTP address or the www address copy that and then when I go back into my document all I need to do is highlight this like I had it done oops highlight it right click and you'll see that there's a little thing that says hyperlink this is the same way in Google Docs so for those of you who are using Google Docs it's the same process click hyperlink and then here, I'm going to go ahead and paste the address, click OK, and now there it is. If I hover on it, you'll see that the link is there, and I can go ahead and open it, and it's an active link. All right, that's all you need to do. So as you go through your Works Cited, now see I've gone to the link, so it's purple now. As you look at your Works Cited, you should be able to scroll down and notice that anything that is a non-subscription database, non-print source, in other words, Anything that you found online but you didn't find on a subscription database should be hyperlinked. This, will how I, this is how I will verify the credibility of your uh, websites. So you'll see here with mine I've got this one linked, the two John Green videos are linked, and, that, uh, and then if I scroll down I've got a history.com uh, website that I have linked. Everything else for me was print or subscription database, so I only have those four of my 11 some sources linked. If you have questions, please ask me today in class.